I know a lot of people are traveling for the holiday. Hey, 30 is kind of a magic number tonight, Mandy. I was just doing some checking because I looked at the temperatures and I thought these just haven't moved a whole lot. They haven't. Only a three degree change in the past 30 hours. We've been stuck in the mid 30s here and that's going to be the case on into this evening, but we will settle on down overnight. We're going to fall back into the lower 20s by tomorrow morning, so uh, freezing conditions back up as the night goes on. Now, just some clouds this evening. I'm not expecting anything to fall out of these clouds and well, the clouds are breaking up out to the west and this will lead to nice sunshine as we get into tomorrow morning. But the sunshine won't last all that long. I'm looking for the clouds to move back in as the next system approaches. It's about a thousand miles to our west, but this system is going to bring the chance of rain showers and even a little snow trying to mix in on into tomorrow night. So let's get into your Christmas weekend forecast. Uh, maybe doing some last minute shopping this evening. It's dry. Temperatures will fall out of the 30s on into the 20s tonight, and it's going to be a cool start tomorrow morning, but I'm looking for some sunshine. The sun sticks around early in the morning. You'll slowly start to see the clouds moving in and they will thicken as the day goes on. The temperatures building into the mid to upper 30s by midday and approaching 40 degrees into tomorrow afternoon. We'll take a little dip in temperatures tomorrow evening, sliding back into the low 30s, but still dry as we go into the evening. Later in the evening, toward 10 and 11 o'clock, that's when the risk of showers develop. And as these rain showers develop, it may produce some snow showers at first. Uh, those big old wet flakes before changing back to just plain old rain showers tomorrow night as temperatures keep climbing on into your Saturday morning. It's going to be a wet start for your Christmas Eve day, uh, but I'm expecting those showers to only stick around through the morning hours and then we'll start to dry out on into the afternoon. So that's good news for travel plans Saturday afternoon into Saturday night. Looks like we'll stay dry. Now, one thing to watch out for, temperatures will drop uh, back toward the freezing mark. Maybe you're heading to church here late Saturday night into early Sunday morning. Temperatures right around 32 degrees, but dry, and it looks like it stays that way into your Christmas morning. And the biggest part of Sunday looks dry as well, and temperatures building into the 40s by Sunday afternoon. So uh, not a bad weekend after we get through early Saturday morning. 23 tonight, clouds decreasing, some sun early tomorrow, and then the clouds move back in. Highs in the low 40s by late afternoon. Tomorrow night's the only weekend problem, the chance of rain or snow showers, especially later tomorrow night. Not expecting uh, much in the way of any snow accumulation. It will change to all rain showers by Saturday morning. Highs near 40. The rain ends, wraps up for your Christmas Eve. Sunday's high, 42. And it gets warmer than that on Monday. The chance of rain moves in late Sunday, a better chance on Monday, mid 50s, and then cooling down through the middle of next week. We'll see some snow showers around, and some of those may even mix in with a little bit of rain at times as we go into Wednesday and Thursday. Looks like our New Year's weekend may be a little colder than our Christmas weekend. And so as I'm looking at the Christmas forecast, I'm thinking it won't be so bad if you get your kids a bike or a trampoline or something that they can do outside that's and right. they want to play. Go out and test drive it, right? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Thanks, Mike.